Thanks for watching this video on VOR navigation. The only equipment you need to navigate using VORs are the nav receiver and the VOR indicator. There are two different kinds of VOR indicators and both are usually found at the same time on the plane to enable you to track VORs one after the other and to provide you an additional VOR receiver in case one of them is malfunctioning. There are two important things to notice on the VOR gauge. The first one is the needle itself and the second one is the to from indicator. You'll soon understand how to read them correctly. For the sake of this tutorial, we'll be flying from Trinca Airfield to Salberg Hunterton Airport, both located in New Jersey. After takeoff, we want to make a right turn to track BWZ VOR on a course of 202 degrees and climb to 3000 feet. Now before takeoff, just tune in both VOR frequencies in the radio. Turn the VOR1 OBS to 202 degrees and the VOR2 OBS to 176 degrees. Then we are good to go. We are now making a right turn heading 202 degrees to track BWZ VOR. Now look at this figure. The bottom right picture shows you that if you're on course, the first VOR indicator's needle will be a perfect arrow, and the second VOR's needle will be vertical. The picture on the left of the black arrow shows you that if you're off course to the right, the first VOR's needle will be on the left of the yellow arrow, and the second VOR's needle will be pointing to the left. In other words, the VOR always tells you where to go to get back on track. In the same way, if you're off course to the left, the VOR you're using will tell you to turn right to get back on track.
will soon be passing over BWZ VOR and turning left heading 176 degrees. As we pass over BWZ VOR, the to from indicator went from pointing forwards to pointing backwards, telling us the VOR is now behind us. We'll track SBJ VOR using the primary VOR indicator as it provides us the DME information we need for our approach. Reaching SBJ VOR, turning right heading 196 degrees and descending to 2000 feet. Setting the OBS to 196 degrees. <laughs> 